Hello everyone, this is Mavo. Today I'm gonna make a plum wine. I love plum wine, but the, uh, the most thing I like is the, the fruits at the bottom. You know, the plum wine has a high sugar content, so you don't want to drink all the time. But, uh, you know, I, I want to eat the, uh, the plum at the bottom part, so, so why not make one of them? So we went to Little Tokyo in California. Uh, with Tom and Mike and uh, uh, we went to Japanese grocery store and they had plum fruit so so I was like well you know maybe this is the time to make plum wine by myself so let's try okay so ingredient we're gonna use this uh, crystal sugar and uh, also the plum usually it's green like this but uh, uh, during the travel, uh, the, everything became a little brown, yellowish and brown. Uh, I guess the process started, but I guess it, it doesn't matter because we're gonna put it into the alcohol. And the third ingredient will be uh, shochu. Shochu is a distilled RNL, distilled sake. It must be 35% or more. And uh, we don't have that. Substitute will be vodka. So I'm gonna use this Texas vodka Tito's and it's gluten free. Okay, so plum fruit has been washed and also dried off uh, with a you know, paper towel. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to pick, pick the, uh, the bottom part. This, this area has like a uh, brown uh, end. So you're gonna pick with a toothpick and take it off because it's gonna be uh, you know not feeling good I mean to this uh, plum fruits up you know when you eat okay so I got this container you can sell down really good and I'm gonna put this roots and the uh, crystal sugar uh, and layered like this and pour some vodka into the container All right, so I poured some vodka, so it's layered, plum, sugar, plum, sugar, and seal. So we're gonna wait half a year to uh, a year and a half, and you can have plum wine. So let's see what's gonna happen in next year. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and see you next time. Johnny.